Hello everyone, this is Aida Golami from Agrimets of Research Company and in today's video, I'm going to talk about data segment in data tool in Excel. So data tool, if you may know, is robust tool or add-in provided for Excel by Agrimetsoft team and you can go to Agrimetsoft website agrimetsoft.com in order to see the plans and the prices etc. Now I'm here to show you some of the capabilities of this data tool and show you how to use it how to work with your data using this tool and etc so if you do not know about reshaping things let's get into here and talk more about it so let's say your data is listed something like this so you have 365 columns for days and then you have as much as rows for year. So each row is one year in here. Or you might have something like this. So you have days listed in rows and then you have uh, months in columns and this range repeats for each year, okay? So in these type of things, you cannot inform if you're working for working with models and you're modeling, you cannot inform this type of data into models. So what you should inform is something like this is if your data is from one, I don't know, one to 365, you cannot have them in rows. Um, in many cases, you, you should just inform a txt file into your model, which includes data like this, one, two, three, up to 365. And that's for first year. And then you will get one, two, three, etc. for next year and going on. Okay, so for this type of purpose, what you will do is to select your whole range, which is to, which is this range, and then you will head to R2M. You can see uh, this option in here, which is reshaping to dimension data. I will click on that. So for this purpose, I will first click on transpose to rows. And then you can see each column is now for one year. So we've made, um, we have reshaped it and transposed it to rows. Okay, so I will click on select to new sheet. Uh, and then I have something like this. So another step that I have is now to go for reshaping. And now again, I will click transpose to column. So you can see all my data is now listed as I wanted. So it's the first year, you can see it starts from 1657, 1657, 57, 60, you can see this is the first year and the next year just comes along and etc. So let's um, send to new sheet and you can see this is my whole data. And this is right now uh, ready for informing it to the model. But let's get into here and let's see what other things can we do using this uh, robust tool. Another, um, another way of working with this data could be making it to monthly data. So what if you want to make some analysis on monthly data and you want to know 
the summations, the averages, and these type of things. So for this purpose, you will again select your range and you will click on row daily data to month. Uh, you can see it says select 365 columns for day and for rows for and rows for years. So I click on that. You can see this window opens up. So let's say in here I want to have the averages, the monthly averages for for all years. So I will go for two monthly in rows. Let's see what happens. You can see now I have 12 columns. Okay, 12 columns and of course um, 19 rows for my years because I had from 2001 to 2019. So this is two monthly in rows. So each row so now cell number one is monthly average for January in 2001. Second one is for February in 2001, etc. So I had to get this voiceover in order to mention a thing I just forgot to mention in the video. And that's that if you want to have the sum of values for each month you can check this box in here you you can check this uh, use summation and then it will sum all the data in each month so the default mode is the, the default mode of this option will calculate the averages and you will have the averages for months but if you check this option in here, you will have some of the values for each month. So it was just a quick voiceover for this part of the video. And let's get into the next part. So I can also go for two monthly in columns. What happens is that, so let's have it in here. So this is the data averaged for each month for all the years. So I have year number one, year number two, three, four, etc. to year number 19. Okay, so that's what it does. In here, if you have paid attention, in here we had another segment, which is for leap year calculation. So I can check the leap year, use leap year. And here I should mention my first leap year. So let's say the first leap year in here is 2002. Now I click for two monthly in column and send to new sheet. So, so that's um, for using leap years. In here, let's get into another options. So let's say I have months in columns and days in rows. So let's say I want to have another reshaping in here. I want to have them in column. So now you can see what happens is that I have the first column and after that I have the February. Okay, so I had column one and then I have column two which has this two number in here and then the next one which has these two fourteens and etc so I can again reshape them and okay let's get 
to another good one we had we had this selection okay which is from b2 to nb nb20 okay i have this selection and i want to go for first row daily to monthly i want to have seasonally data okay so this is these steps you first go for row data to monthly and you want to have to monthly in rows and i want to send it to Newshin. then this is so here is the months and here is the years okay so i select it again and i go for row monthly to seasonally and in here if i go for two seasons in rows you can see each season is now in the columns and you have them for all the years you can go of course for two season in columns which gets you this one and you can have two custom season so in here you should select months let's say i want to have march april may june so i will go for to custom season and this is organized and averaged in their settings so this season seasonally data is actually the average of data for each season so this is the average cell one okay this cell is average of winter which is from january to march for year 2001 this is for spring for 2001 and etc so another thing did you so in here i want to have something like trick in here okay so uh, another thing that i just forgot is working with one dimension data you can do the all transposing and reshaping for one dimension also and you could transpose it to rows which makes this column this whole column into just one row and 20 columns so let's get a trick in here so let's say you have to you have to organize your data for your model and you have two columns okay in first column you have years so you start from 1990 let's say first month 1990 second month and third month etc and you should repeat it up to let's say 20 month number one number two etc what you will do this is a trick okay so i want to show you how to use this tool in order to do this type of things so i have 1990 for 12 months okay and let's say i want to do that for 20 okay more than that i want to have it for 20 years so this is my data okay what i will do is to go for reshape two dimension data and now I will click on two column 
in order to have each row in the first column one after each other I will send it to new share for months all I have to do is to have 12 years 12 months I'm sorry 12 months uh, and then all I have to do is to copy this much of years to yeah it's not right I have yeah I have from 1990 to 2009 okay so I should have 19 years which is up to here and then I will delete the residuals and I will select the range I will head to data tool and click on uh, reshaping to dimension data now I have this window in here you can see all my data I will go for uh, transpose to rows and then again I will select my data click on reshape to dimension and I will transpose to column and I will send that to new sheet then you can see after two times doing the transpose to column thing using data tool I can have the months also so I just had to do it again so here uh, I have made a mistake in my calculations I had more than 19 years yeah it's up to here and that's it okay so that was just a trick to see how to work with this tool so I guess that's it for today's video I hope you learned something new please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I will see you in the next video and bye.